Hey guys, welcome on this tutorial. Today I'll teach you how to start the engine from a cold and dark situation on the Airbus 10. Sorry if I don't speak very well, I'm French. We are going to skip some procedures as they are not simulated in Flight Simulator 10. So once you are ready to fly, go on the MCDU to load the cold and dark situation. Make a left click on ACFT state, which stands for aircraft state, and select load cool dark state. As you can see and hear, nothing is running, no engine and no power. So, first we are going to make some safety checks before to do anything. Bienvenue. Locked in position. Make sure that your packing brake is set. The engine masters are off. Trust levers at idle. And gear selector is down. And finally, the wipers are off. Okay. Now it's time to power on the aircraft. Go on the overhead panel on the electric area and make a left click on BAT1 and 2 as you can see some lights turned on and air conditioning is has started ok so now we are going to start the APU turn on the mm, APU master by making a left click on it and start the APU in the meantime we are going to turn on displays to get information so go on the left side and make a left click on PFD switch and ND switch go on the middle of the plane and make a left click on the ECAM switches alright now as you can see we have displays on and the APU is ready and starts we are going to turn we are going to proceed to a overhead scan now so we are going from left to right and from down to up so on the Airbus 10 there is nothing to do on the left of the overhead scan everything is already set so just skip this part go on the middle part and turn on and turn the seat belts and non-smoking side on auto set the emergency exit lights on arm and turn the nav and logo lights on auto ok now turn on the APU bleed on the air conditioning area as you can see there is a red light on gen 1 and gen 2 but it's completely normal because no engines are running we are going to turn off all illuminated white lights on the fuel area so make a left click on all white lights to set them on auto and there is nothing else to do make sure there is no other white lights ok it's perfect now let's configure the MCDU and the autopilot go on the MCDU on the birth page set the flaps level you are going to use for the takeoff so here I'm gonna set flaps to 1 so I insert 1 make a left click on TO flex 2 it will insert an automatic data same for V1, VR and V2 now go on the init page and insert a random flight number so for example 9536B and align the IRS and set your 
departure airport and your arrival airport so in here we are going to take off from Nice Côte d'Azur LFMN slash to Paris early so LFBO perfect now if you zoom out you can see a green line on the ND display which is the route we are going to follow to go to Paris here you've got the next waypoint you are going in the distance and here you will find your speed ok now let's configure the autopilot no, first we are going to go on the B page of the INIS page so make a left click on the right arrow and make a left click on ZFW and block it will insert automatic data now we've done with the MCDU and we can go on the autopilot procedures one thing you've got to know on the Airbus with the autopilot when you make a left click the data will be inserted automatically by the uh, autopilot with the MCDU and it will be managed by the MCDU but if you make a right click the autopilot will use the data you have set yourself so for the speed let's set 250 knots and for the altitude 20,000 feet okay so now we are going to start the engine set the auto brake on max make sure the anti-skids row is on on and here we go so in real life you are supposed to ask clearance to ATC to start the engine but it's not simulated in flight simulator 10 we are going to turn on the wing lights and the beacon light set strub on auto and taxi lights the news light on taxi okay hold on as we prepare the crown for that So as you can see on this middle screen, enough engines are running. You can also check for information about the leads, the cabin pressure, the electric, the hydraulic and much more. Anyway we okay, are going to start the engine. Left is clear, right is clear, ok to start the engine. Ok, so now we've got the clearance. Turn the engine starters on even start. Make a right click on it. And turn on the engine master 2. As you can see the engine is starting Ok, engine 1 is ready Now let's do the same for the engine number 1 As you can see it is starting
Okay, now both engines are running. Let's set the engine starter switch on normal. And here we go. In position, please set parking brakes. Set parking brakes. And open your flaps. Okay, arm G. Spoilers. Now equipment is removed. Okay. You are clear for taxi. Wait for my signal on the right hand side. Over. Now to taxi, what I suggest you to do in order to make smooth turn is to use your radar. So let's make they have a quick look on the plane. Everything is okay. We are ready to taxi.